Okay, so for this tutorial we will transform a portrait of a girl into something that sort of looks like a, uh, a 3D render uh, where people might wonder if it is a, a real human or a uh, CGI character. Um, now, this is the original picture and this is going to be uh, what we're going to create. Now for this we're going to use, uh, to work on the skin, we're going to use the uh, uh, mixer brush tool. This is going to uh, mix in the paint with whatever is under. Uh, to start we're going to use an eyedropper, pick a, a color in the inner forehead as this is where we're going to start the work. Use the settings you see above. Now duplicate the background because we want to work on, uh, we don't want to work on the background. Just start to paint in a way that makes sense, starting with the nose. And then do the uh, paint over the, um, the right side of her forehead, mostly. What you want to avoid here is, is streaks, so uh, painting in, in, in straight lines usually works well, otherwise you can paint in circles. Then use the eyedropper and pick a color on her right cheek and do the same thing, trace around the eye. As you see, you can paint in circle, try to trace around the area we want to, uh, to paint. And then we're going to do the lower jaw, right jaw. S same thing, pick a, pick a, a spot, a color on, on, on that part and paint over it. Mixing the paint with the skin. and then use the eyedropper and pick a color on her chin paint over her chin same thing above her eye you can change the size here, say the size of the brush the lower the uh, upper lip now again duplicate the the background layer now we're going to paint the left side of her face pick a, a color on her forehead Not this point. At this in this area, you you have to uh, maybe uh, paint in circles so you don't uh, so there's no visible streak. Paint over the nose again. We will later uh, blend those two parts, so some of it will erase. Pick a color on her left cheek.
you can also do the uh, lower part of her face but we will not do right now the uh, the far left side of her face because it is a a different color that we will uh, la uh, later blend in with the left side of her face now again duplicate the background layer this one call it the far far left side of her face pick a, pick a color and start painting Now uh, select the, uh, the left side face layer, add a layer mask to it and we're going to do some erasing. We're going to blend the left and the right side together. So increase the brush size to 150 pixel. The cursor, by the way, doesn't represent the size of the, the brush. It, much, it's much, it, it is much smaller for whatever reason. So just erase away the left side so we can see the layer right under it that we painted over and then we're going to do the same thing with the far left uh, face layer add a layer mask brush size 150 and paint erase the right side of her face with a black brush on the on the mask to reveal whatever is under then when we get closer to the uh, darker side of her face change the opacity to 50 just so it you can uh, blend things a little better be a little bit more smoothly so now we are erasing uh, the far left side of her face the edges the edge the uh, right edge and you can even lower the opacity to 20% now uh, we can change the uh, lower pass the uh, the opacity of each layer the more natural you want it to look the lower the opacity. Uh, here I just changed the uh, blending mode on that layer to lighten uh, the opacity to, uh, to 90. And uh, now what I'm doing here is I'm simply uh, erasing a bit of the paint in the upper left corner of her forehead just to make things blend better. Now select all those layers, duplicate them, merge layers, and when and here we're going to uh, add a bit of a glow to our face. So change the blending mode to luminosity, 
then add a right above it add a U saturation adjustment layer uh, right click it and, and and select create clipping mask so the adjustment layer only affects the layer right below and as you can see this is by changing the U this is the uh, the, the, the result we can get so put the settings I'm putting there now add a another adjustment layer a levels adjustment layer right click clipping mask and you adjust the the levels until you get the look you you like And then we are going to lower the opacity because we don't want it to be uh, that uh, that bright, that glowing. So we're going to put 40%. So it just had a subtle glow to our skin, but. At the same time, that's the only thing we want uh, our skin to glow, not the, not the, not anything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to add anything. We're going to uh, sort of uh, paint with the color black over anything that is not the skin. So we're going to start on the mask. So we're going to start with the the eyes, the eyebrows. And then we're going to uh, erase the effect, the the, the glow, the uh, the added uh, brightness. We're going to uh, erase it using a black paint. We're going to uh, paint over the background and the and the and the air. As I said, all we want to glow a little more is the skin. Here we are painting over over clothes. Then we can just increase the brush size and just paint over any white spots we still see on the mask. Now select those three layers, the layer plus the two adjustment layer, duplicate them, and then change this time the uh, blending mode to screen, 
and the opacity to 30. So we're going to sort of whiten her face. Now what we want to do here is just take a big black paint brush and just erase, paint the mask, the entire mask black as we will change the mask slightly. Now paint over the skin and the eyes and the eyebrows. Paint with the color white to reveal uh, to reveal the uh, the adjustment layers and the uh the the um the layer that uh will uh, give her face uh, the uh a, a whitish color <laughs> 